So the question being, how did I personally, or how would I recommend anyone overcome overeating or binge eating? Here's what I would say. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Beast Bulk episode 24 coming at you on one of the best days of the year, NCAA tournament kickoff Thursday. But we got ourselves an issue because I'm out here just trying to sit back, be lazy and watch college basketball all day, but both the website and the app are not working. I'm getting heated right now. Like I'm trying to watch some basketball and nothing's working for me. This is a very serious issue right now that needs to be resolved. Oh, bet, bet, bet the app's working. Now the game's not loading. Like what is going on? Oh, well, eventually when something loads, that's what my afternoon's looking like today. Oh, there we go, there we go, we're on it. Rhode Island, Oklahoma, first game. For anyone wondering, I got Kansas winning it in my bracket. Not really even because I think they're the best team, just I guess that's just how it shook out. But yeah, I'm just gonna be a lazy butt all afternoon because I mentioned in my last video, I've just been grinding all week. I need a day just to like chill out, watch some basketball. I'll still probably do some work on my computer while I'm watching, but that's the plan. Might move around some different locations, you know, find some different spots to watch. But that's all I'm doing. And I guess I should probably, like, go work out at some point today. Well, maybe we'll find some time for that. But that's what we're doing. I'll catch you guys later. All right, I've been sitting here watching basketball up there for about, like, you know, the past three, four hours. I think we're going to take a little break now. I'm probably going to go do some cardio and then come back watch more basketball. Just got done shooting some hoops for my cardio because, you know, watch four hours of basketball. You wanna go shoot some hoops. Glistening with sweat, as you can see. Really good cardio. Now, I've actually been shooting hoops for cardio like the past couple of days because like it's, it's really good cardio and it's so much more fun than just like running on a treadmill. But I've been getting progressively better over the last couple of days. I made a lot of shots today. I'm starting to find my rhythm again. Anyways, also, I figured that I'd mention, I know that Christian Guzman started his uh, summer shredding challenge today, which I took part in last year, kind of not really intentionally. My summer shred diet took place at like the same time as this whole summer shredding thing, so I, I entered myself. However, I'm not doing it again this year, but I am interested to know if there, how many people that watch this channel are taking part in that, are starting that now. If you are doing the summer shredding contest thing, let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to know if there are people out there that are doing it and best of luck to you as you start this cut that just came to mind hopefully i can motivate some people as they're going through their fitness journey but anyways i'm gonna shower up i'm gonna go eat some dinner then probably go lift i'll see you guys there <laughs> It's the next morning now. I actually feel more well rested than I have any other day this week because I actually got to sleep at a decent time last night. But also what I want to talk about is this morning I ended up weighing in a pound heavier than I did yesterday. Even though I'm like 100% sure that I was in a calorie deficit yesterday. What that is, is a weight fluctuation. Fluctuation. Weight fluctuation. And when that happens, when the scale isn't going down the way it should, it doesn't mean that you like put on a pound. It probably has something to do with like water or your meal timing. Like if I ate something later last night or if something was up with my water, it doesn't really matter. Just a fluctuation. Didn't actually gain a pound. We'll keep dropping probably tomorrow. Just trying to share info. You know I try to make this entertaining, informative, motivational, positive, uplifting. We got the promise of a beautiful sunny day today. I'm hyped. I'm ready to get it stopping at the chapel to start the day in prayer. You guys know how it is. I'll catch you later. All right, update. After breakfast, I uploaded the last vlog. I trimmed my face. I don't know how well you can tell. How's it look? I get questions all the time, like, do you trim your beard? And yes, I do trim my beard. But I just got out of class. I'm about to go get lunch. And I'm gonna head to the gym. Probably get some footage of that. Almost 10 o'clock at night now. We are finishing off the day 
with our bowl of oats. I actually ended up not eating dinner tonight. So I was just really busy around like dinner time. Then I went to the dining hall and all they had like non-meat wise, cause it's a Friday and lunch, so you can't eat meat. The only like legit protein, like non-meat option they had was shrimp. And shrimp is one of the like, one of the few foods that I will not eat. It's just like underwater insects. I, I, I don't know, I don't like them. And then I didn't have like a whole lot of time before I had to go something else. And I just didn't end up coming back here to get something to eat. So I haven't eaten in like nine hours and I'm starving. But also, I haven't shown this to the vlog yet. So we've got here uh, one tub of oats. This is about like halfway full. Coming back from break, my mom wanted to, you know, set me up with some oats for, you know, the next couple weeks. You look down here at the secret stash. I don't know how well you can see it. We've got one, two, three, three tubs. Three tubs of oats. So we're stocked on oats for a little while, thanks to my mom. Just thought I'd show you that, cause it's interesting, but I'm going to eat my oatmeal now, finally get something to eat. And then I don't really know yet if I'm gonna do anything else tonight or if I'm just gonna hit the sack, but regardless, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Out here just after 7 a.m., getting the grind started early this morning. Let's get it. First Timothy, chapter four, verse eight, says physical training has some value, but godliness, has value in every way because it holds promise for the present life and for the life to come. Just got done shooting some hoops for cardio. Take a look at how sweaty I am, man. Let's see if you can look at my back. Like, can you tell that it's just a completely different color? Bro, I am dripping in sweat. Shooting hoops for cardio, that ain't no game, man. I go hard. I don't go out there and play around, man. I put in that work. Cardio session the books for today. I'm gonna have to pull out the camera again next time I go out hooping because I'm starting to find that rhythm. But right now I'm gonna shower up. I'm gonna come right back, pull the camera back out to talk to you guys. All right, so we're just gonna sit down and chat for a little bit to end off this video because so far I don't really have anything like title or thumbnail worthy in this vlog. And even though it is a beautiful day outside, I like I probably could go do something, but I'm not really feeling it. And I've had this topic that I've been wanting to talk about in a video for a while, so I figured what a better time than to do it now. And that is, as you read in the title, overeating or binge eating. As some of you may know, a while back, like around after Thanksgiving, I made a video talking about my struggles with overeating and binge eating and how that kind of developed for me and how I struggled with that for like the entire last summer and how kind of food in general has been something that I've struggled with a lot for the past, you know, for a while now. But recently, it has been a lot better and I've been able to control my eating. I've been able to be more consistent with my eating a lot more recently. And what made me want to talk about this is I got a message from a subscriber of this channel about a week or two ago asking me about how did I kind of overcome that overeating or binge eating issue. And we had a good conversation about it and I told him some things and I figured that I'm sure there's more than just him and me and there are, I'm sure, other people that have struggled with that or are struggling with that. So why not give that information in a video? So the question being, how did I personally or how would I recommend anyone overcome overeating or binge eating? Here's what I would say. Tip number one, don't have a lot of food around you. Like the more food that you have, like the more snacks you have, the more like extra food that you have around you, the more likely you are to eat more extra food. So for example, when I'm home, I got all kinds of snacks in the cupboard. I got a fridge full of food and there's food like all over the place. But here in my dorm, all I've got in my room is you know, oatmeal and protein bars. So I don't have very like easily snackable food so I'm not so tempted to, you know, overeat. And especially if you know what kind of foods that you tend to overeat on or tend to binge on, make sure to keep those kind of away from you. Don't have like a surplus of those, otherwise you'll be more likely to overeat and binge on those foods. Second tip, something that I've found is to become more busy. Because I, I'm sure for other people, but I definitely find that I tend to eat sometimes when I'm bored. Like on days that I don't have a lot going on or if I'm just sitting around, I 
feel hungrier and I want to eat more. And then on days when I'm busy and I'm just like working, 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 I don't even think about eating as much. So if you're the kind of person that, you know, gets bored and then tends to go eat, get busy. Like, dude, figure out something to occupy your time to make you think less about food and then you won't, you know, go and snack so often. And then lastly, what I did, what I think really got me to fix up my diet struggles is to develop some kind of consistency. That meant for me, um, some background, the reason why I kind of fell into binge eating or overeating type stuff, and I'm sure for many other people, um, is I went on a very strict diet and I really restricted my food. And then once I got off of it, I started like, you know, binging all the time. It totally messed up my appetite. And I think what helped a lot for me to kind of fix my appetite and get away from that like extreme hunger is I started eating around a calorie maintenance level or a little over my maintenance level to be, you know, satisfied. So I'm, I'm eating enough and doing that consistently and like maintaining that for a while. So I recommend is actually like calculating out how many calories you should be eating in a day. I can have that uh, information in the description below of how to do that, but figure out like your calorie maintenance level and then maybe even go a little bit above that so you're eating like a decent amount of food but not enough that's like gonna you know make you gain a whole lot of weight but enough that's going to make you full consistently and then you can develop that consistency in your eating and the amount of calories that you're consuming to reduce that hunger level. And at the same time eating a reasonable amount of calories but also eating healthy calories so staying away from junk food staying away from sugary foods because those are addictive most likely for me and i'm sure for you the like bingeable foods are like sugary foods and junk foods so if you're able to eat a fair amount of calories to the point that you are full like consistently but you're doing it eating healthier food options and not eating junk food then your body will lose that like need or want for sugary junk foods. That's what I've done and I found that it has definitely helped me to reduce that urge to binge or overeat like I had previously. Hopefully that's helpful for some people out there. I know that there are plenty of people that will watch this video or that, you know, watch my videos that have never struggled with this kind of thing and this meant absolutely nothing to you and it wasn't helpful to you in any, in any way. But there are people out there that need to hear this kind of stuff and this can help some people. So if I have that kind of information, why would I keep it to myself? If I'm able to help people, why would I not share it? So that's why I'm sharing this. So hopefully if you have struggled with this kind of stuff before, you can take some of these tips, apply them, and hopefully they're helpful to you. If you haven't struggled with this kind of stuff before, hopefully this vlog was still entertaining enough for you and you made it through. And that's probably where I'm gonna cut it off for today. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below, let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, if you're new to the channel because you found this in the search engines, awesome, let me know. And especially if you're new, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, hit that button down below. Join the family. It's the year of the vlog. Hop on the train or get off the tracks. We're coming through. My good peeps, my intent is always to motivate, educate, entertain, inspire, spread positivity. Hopefully, I am able to do that and continue to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one.